Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Eternia, everyone. Last time we had finished up at the Ruins of Volt and had returned to Tinsia with uh, our newest Kramel, and hopefully now, yeah, they can complete the Kramel Cannon and we can get into Belir's Castle. But why are the greater... Cra you know what, Ayla? Some things you just don't question, okay? The point is, they're cooperating with us and... And yeah, apparently the Kramels know something's up too, and they want to help save the world too. He's trying to annihilate Eternia, that's why we're fighting. Ayla, we'll leave the decision to report this to the people of Shaleska up to you. Uh, yeah, that's some information there. What about Boss? Uh, he's celebrating with the others in the storeroom. I'm glad to hear he's okay. Yeah, okay is hardly the word to describe him. I don't think there's a thing in the world that could stop Max. Me a kiss, me a kiss to your ass, I don't care. Let us install the Kramel Cannon on the Van Elsha at once. The installation will probably take all night. I'll be should try and get some rest to prepare for tomorrow morning's assault. Please accept this coupon for the hotel. Fantastic, we will take that coupon and we will use it. Keel, you have a wonderful analytical ability. Likewise, your observation is very insightful. You've taught me a lot. Thank you. Uh-oh. Keel has joined the party. Do I have to re-equip him? Probably. We did pick up a holy staff for him, so we will give him that. Actually, no. Looks like everything's equipped on him and good to go. Aside from the staff that we got for him. Well, then we will leave the hideouts and we will, uh, go to the hotel. If I can get out of here. Okay, good. <laughs> do, 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 Thankfully, the hotel is right next to the hideout. So let's just go. Um, where is chat? She's probably, yeah. She is the captain of the Van Elsha, after all. Do we have to go see her first? I don't particularly want to, but I guess I will. Do 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 do. I don't. Oh, I guess I can't go down there. I thought that's where you could go. Maybe not. Or maybe I, can I just go back to the hotel? I don't know why I even ran down there. That was a waste of time. Okay, apparently I didn't even have to. Awesome. Excuse me, we have a coupon. <laughs> Let us in! Uh, certainly, you're staying in a suite. Oh, are we now? Please use the elevator on your right. Okay. Elevator, hello? Should it really... Do I have to push it? Good grief, I'm staying in this suite. Oh, damn, that Jefferson song. Pretty nice digs. This is really something. I haven't seen Reed get this excited about anything since food. <laughs> since the banquet back in Peruti. <laughs> Oh, feels great. Well, that's good to know. Uh, Married is a bit sleepy. Can I sleep? No, no sleep for you. Okay, uh, Reed, you weren't supposed to shake your head. I was just kidding. Uh, uh, sure. Good night. What's wrong with Married? She seemed a bit down. She's nervous. Thinking about tomorrow makes even me. All uh, right. Apparently tomorrow we're gonna infiltrate Belir's castle, or at least try to anyway. Once tomorrow's battle is over, let's stay in this lavish suite again, all of us together. Lavish, really? Does anybody use that word? Anyway, uh, yeah, let's do. I want to be well rested for tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Okay. Good night, Vera. 
I'm so pathetic. Things have come to a head and all I can feel is fear. Oh, Keel. Can't even spare a thought for the others. Look, even I haven't stopped shaking. Oh, read your trembling. Uh, any sane person would be afraid. Alright, I'm going to sleep now. I love how the elevator just comes up, like, right into your room. I mean, what if someone else just mistakenly hit the sweep button and they just show up like, Oh, sorry. Oh, isn't that what fighting with friends is all about? Uh, sure it is. Calculation's a bit simple, but you're right. Let's get some shut eye. Do do do. Hello, is it tomorrow yet? Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, there's Reed as like a little boy. Whoa, what the hell's go what is this? I'm guessing it's some kind of flashback or dream or something. Ooh. Okay, who's the weirdo that's like, yeah, a giant? Oh, it's a monster. I thought it was a person. <laughs> Bit bits, really? Reed, what are you doing? Get over here! I'm gonna guess that's Reed's dad since they kind of look alike. Reed, tell me, did you go to Regulus Knoll? Um... No. <laughs> Reed, you're lying. You're full of shit. I don't believe you. Listen, stay inside. Father will return later. I love how his dad speaks of himself in the third person. Uh, Father, don't go! It's my fault. Yeah, it is. It's all your fault, Reed. You should feel like shit. <laughs> That's terrible. So yeah, apparently way back in the day when Reed was a little boy, he went to Regulus Knoll and caused some kind of havoc or something to be wreaked upon the village. And do do do, we're gonna go peep at the naked girls. No, um, <laughs> Meredith's missing. So we need to go find her. We're going to go to the rooftop. Just a hunch. I'm gonna guess she's there. Whenever someone goes missing in the middle of the night, chances are they go to the rooftop. And there she is. Can't sleep? Whoa. Apparently you surprised her standing right in front of her face like that. Merity. Her powers of perception are amazing. I couldn't sleep either. A dream about my father woke me up. Farrah, what are you doing here? Your father is not here? Yeah, he and my mother died when I was two years old. I got them killed, because I'm a douche. Uh, <laughs> too bad, Reed. Uh, mother and father are not here. Like Farrah. Yeah, what happened to Farrah's parents? Did you get them killed too, Reed? Hey, Reed. Hey, uh, yes. Does Reed have memories of father and mother? Didn't we just tell you one? You dumb bitch. No, um, <laughs> usually I don't think about that much. It's sad, but my memories have faded with time. But sometimes I feel them, warm, calm, like a light, always protecting me. So I guess those are my memories. <laughs> oh, I don't really get it myself. Yeah, that makes two of us read. What the hell are you talking about? Hey, why are you so quiet? You're making me blush. Why would that make you blush? So are those... You don't know what memories are, Meredith? Do you not have any? Reads memories. Meredith understands. Warm and calm inside. <laughs> not going there. Not touching that one. Meredy has them too. So those are memories. Apparently we just gave her a vocabulary lesson. Meredy? Alright you guys, we are running out of time, so I'm going to call the video for now. When we come back, we're going to play more, uh, play more of the game. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.